What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys are having another good day and a good work week. Today's Friday. So happy to be filming again. Uh, so you're probably wondering, you're like, yo, but like, like, yo, Cam, man, you left us on the cliffhanger. Where you been, bro? Like, you made the video for the CP3s, the dual fuelers from PPE, and then we ain't see you again. Okay, so it's been about a week since I made my last video, but as my OG subscribers, okay, y'all know I like hunting. I like duck hunting. I like I like deer hunting. Okay, it's that time of the year. And on top of that, I like college football. I or I love college football and I like NFL. I like watching football. That's my sport. Hence the Kane shirt. Okay, so that's what I've been doing. Okay, teal season in North Carolina started back in September 12th, I believe. Don't quote me on that. September 12th, the 10th, something like that. It started. I went hunting. Y'all know if you, once again, OG subscribers, y'all know I got the John boat. 14 foot double wide John boat with a 25 horsepower mercury on it. I've been going to town on it. it got it built blind, all that good stuff, okay? So, thank you guys for checking out the channel so much. If you can, before we start this video, smash the thumbs up. Just to let everybody know I'm out there and I'm alive and I'm, I'm doing good, okay? And also, you're gonna like this video too, so thank you guys so much, all right? So, before we roll into the main topic of the video, you guys, I'm gonna have to make a big announcement, okay? now. You guys are awesome. I love you guys. I love all my subscribers, everybody who's followed this build, the channel, all the companies that, that work with me. I, I love everything about it, man, okay? And I get a lot of messages about, Cam, we gotta meet up, man. I gotta see the truck. I gotta meet, I, I just wanna see you in person, meet you in person, guess what? Today is the day, okay? Not today, but coming soon. October 10th, okay, in Woodsbury, Tennessee, I'm going to be going to Blackout in the Country, Beans Diesel hosted event, okay? You guys, I'll be there, I will be there, and on top of that, the truck is going to be on display at Beans Diesel's tent, okay? If, if, I mean, my mind's blown right now. Two years ago, if you would've asked me if my truck would be on display at somebody, at a company, a diesel company's tent, I would've been like, no, like, nobody knows who I am, but yes, we're fortunate and blessed enough to be able to represent the everything diesel truck at beans diesel event okay check it out i'm gonna put a screenshot of the post up here on here in a second uh blackout in the country and beans the or hosted by beans diesel in woodsbury tennessee okay so it's about it's about a 10 hour drive for me but i'm not worried about that so if you guys want to meet me take pictures with me meet the truck see the truck in person ask me questions pick my brain in person that is going to be the event you don't want to miss okay uh, i will be there and i'm looking forward to seeing everybody out there who shows up if you've been following the instagram everything underscore diesel you guys know that i've been making announcements i've been asking who's going to be there i'm super pumped i'm so excited you guys don't understand it man and my buddy Jake over at Ashby's Diesel, owner of Ashby's Diesel, is going to be riding with me. We're going to be going out there, showing out and balling hard, okay? Mike and Mike, Mike with Beans Diesel. Mike, I'm excited. Can't wait to see y'all soon, man. It's going to be an awesome time. So if you guys can make the show, it's a Blackout in the Country event by Beans Diesel. I believe Greg A is going to be there and uh, they're going to have dr uh, dra drag strips sled pulls uh, a bunch of show and shine events it's going to be amazing you guys are going to love it trust me you don't want to miss it okay so super pumped about that you guys i i mean i get happy just thinking about it because this is the first event my truck is going to this year really since i've done all the stuff the 10 and a half inch lift the compounds the dual fuelers the forge the fuel forge wheels everything this is the first time i can truly display my truck in person and let people see it okay so you guys i'm extremely proud extremely grateful humbled honored everything about it man and i just can't wait I, and i would love to see as many of you guys out there as possible um it's gonna be a good time okay all right you guys so first things first you address the video okay three things you should do upon getting your new or get new to you but getting a Cummins more specifically this video is going to be aimed towards the 6-7 Cummins in newer uh, what to do okay you guys I get a lot of videos of people asking me hey I just picked this 17 6 7 up I just picked up this 08 Cummins I know a lot of people are picking up 08 Cummins mega caps too uh, I get I'm, I'm starting to get that a lot okay now if you guys don't know it is raining out here but I don't care it's, it's barely raining okay so first things first what to do all right 
the first thing you do when you get these trucks now popular now contrary to popular belief you guys aren't going to believe me but the first thing you want to do when you get one of these trucks change all the fluids okay everything oil transmission fluid axle fluid gear fluid okay change your brake fluid power steering fluid do a hundred percent before you even think about tuning or deleting this truck do a hundred percent fluid swap on everything that you possibly can okay you guys don't understand okay you got to think yes a lot of a lot of you guys are like me where you're buying these trucks you use you're not buying these trucks brand new from the dealership and you know no miles on them okay you guys are buying these trucks used now with that they ain't fly now with that you guys you got to understand yes you could buy it from somebody and they're like i just changed this i just changed that but i'm telling you right now there's two reasons why you want to change all your fluids there's no there is no shame in doing that pretty much okay reason being is because number one by you changing all the fluids before or when you get the truck you know for a fact you do the owner you which is you not the people you got it from you know a hundred percent facts that all the fluid is brand new fresh start okay when you get the truck okay now here's the second one which is actually a big one the fluid is going to tell you what condition the truck is in it's crazy okay listen to me so when you get this truck if you change the trans fluid you drain the fluid out and it's coming out all black and burnt looking that is a prime sign unfortunately if you got that truck that something is burning either the oil is burnt or well, the oil is burnt but something is not not a hundred percent correct in the transmission okay if you're changing the oil do an oil analysis on the first oil change of that truck okay so before you drain that oil, that oil that's in the truck when you bought it to get a sample kit amazon sells a sample kit uh blackstone lab sells a sample kit get a sample kit and test the oil that was in the truck when you got it okay even if you don't know the specs on it test it because what's going to happen is that's going to tell you a lot about this engine before you go even any further in terms of changing the oil and starting to do miles on this okay you do that when you change the axle fluids if you change the axle fluid and it's coming out all milky brown and and watery looking that tells you water's in the axle okay by changing all the fluids on your truck it's going to tell you the condition this truck was in before you got it okay now yes i understand you should check all this stuff before but ain't nobody gonna pop off an axle an axle cover a uh, diff cover and drain the oil and look at it and be like oh man this is milky you must have been mudding or off and nobody's gonna do that let's be real let's be real okay so change all the fluids because what that's gonna do is that's gonna be a initial prime step in terms of telling you the condition the truck is in okay and on top of that you're putting brand new fluid in the truck which is the truck's gonna love it okay brand new fluid recommended specs all that good stuff it's gonna love that so change the fluids and everything on your truck when you get it okay i wish i would have done that when i bought my truck um nope. you know the, everything was good on my truck but I wish I would have done that just so I could have seen it when I got the truck. You know what I'm saying? Don't get me wrong. The person I got it from, this old man took phenomenal care of the truck. But I, I still would have liked to seen it. Okay? So change all the fluids, okay? Now, the second thing. Now, obviously, everybody's waiting for this one. Tune and delete. Okay? Tune and delete these trucks. Get it done. Just get it over with. If you can, legally. Get it done and over with, okay? I get a lot of people hitting me up, asking me about tuning questions, asking me about, I don't know what to go with. I'm telling you guys right now, EFI Live, Easy Link, or the Race Me Ultra is the best route you can go, okay? Don't waste your money on Bully Dogs. Don't waste your money on the Smarty Junior. That stuff's from the past, man. That stuff is old, okay? Even if you're just trying to get a basic tune delete just so you can drive it and be reliable. EFI Live, Easy Link, or Race Me Ultra, okay? In that case, if you're just trying to get it tuned, deleted, and done with, Go to Race Me Ultra. That's it. That's the best thing you can do. Uh, Mini Max. I get a lot of questions about the Mini Max still. Uh, Mini Max. If you know for a fact, let's say it's a work truck. If you know a hundred percent for a fact that all you want to do is delete this truck and you don't want to do anything else performance-wise, there is nothing wrong with going with a Mini Max at all. Okay. Uh, the Mini Max will tune, delete this truck, and the Mini Max actually has cool features on it that a lot of these new tuners don't have, such as disabling the seatbelt chimer so that way when if you don't have your seatbelt in it's not going to keep ringing in your ear all day you know you can adjust your you can adjust a lot of stuff and on top of that for my third gen bubbles we can tune the trans with a mini max so we can demand a higher line pressure such as 200 psi 250 psi 
uh, 170, I think, 180, such and such, okay? So the Mini Max, don't sleep on the Mini Max. But again, if only you plan to not do anything besides tune and delete, then a Mini Max will work. Uh, if you plan on adding injectors, uh, you know, dual CP3s, anything else aftermarket performance wise, do not go with the Mini Max route. Stick with the EFI Live, Easy Link, or the uh, Race Me Ultra route because you can get custom tuning and custom tuning makes a world of difference. I still need to get a custom tune on the third gen because since doing the dual fuelers, I have not. I mean, it runs and drives fine, but I still want to do it just to make sure everything's hunky dory, okay? So number two is going to be tuning delete, you guys. You guys understand, man, that stuff, that, that, that emission stuff is, is just tearing up. It, it, it's so bad. It's so bad. I mean, you've heard it before multiple times, but it's essentially the truck inhaling its own fart, okay? Now, once again, if don't don't uh, message me asking, you know, who can I go to to get tuned or who can I go to to get an exhaust? You have to be a big boy and use Google, the internet, like, you know, I do, and you're just going to have to research, and you'll find somebody eventually, okay? All right, and then last but not least, for number three, in terms of top three things to do number three really is gonna be whatever you want okay now you're probably wondering like you're like wait what like what no okay so check it out you guys on these six seven Cummins there's no prone issues with these trucks okay and I try and I time after time I tell people this stuff all the time there really is no prone things that it's like I need to address this immediately because if not it's gonna destroy this engine it really isn't it really isn't. Now, if you want to talk about the transmission, even then, I will stand up proudly and defend a 68 RFE because I have a bone stock 68 RFE besides trans tuning and a valve body plate other than in the deep dish trans pan. Other than that, it's bone stock. There's nothing performance wise internally in that transmission. Um, you know, you're probably wondering, well, number three, well, why would you say anything? Okay, so I get a lot of people saying, what should I do first? Cold air intake or intake manifold? Okay, you pick your poison man you know if you want to do a cold air intake do the cold air intake especially if you have the intent on doing the other mod it re at that point you might as well just do whichever one you want because you know that it's gonna get done eventually you get what I'm saying um, people people have this misconception that by putting a cold air intake on their truck the truck gains like a hundred horsepower which is far from false uh, you, you're lucky if you squeeze out 15 horsepower uh, to the or 15 horsepower in the engine you're lucky if you squeeze out 10 by the wheels from doing just a quarter intake uh but people like it because you know it makes the truck sound a little a little bit more raspy gives it you know opens up lets it breathe a little bit better so you know it's one of those things uh intake manifold same scenario just opens it up a little bit more lets it breathe a little bit let, lets the air come into the engine for combustion a little bit more efficient so you know take it for what it is all right uh but the reason why i say number three whatever you want is because a lot of times people get so wrapped up on oh should i do head studs should i do uh you know Intake manifold, intake, uh, quarter intake, uh, intercooler. Like what? Like I don't, I don't know what to do. You know, and it's like whichever one you really want to. These five nine and tw and six seven common rails, they are they're really. <laughs> there's like nothing that's like super like oh my god you need to change this and upgrade this immediately or if not this engine is going to destroy itself. It's not like that honestly. It really isn't. Uh, you know, 2010 to 2012 Fort Gen Bubbles maybe upgrade your water pump change your water pump out because they did have a warranty recall issue with the water pumps on the early fourth gens you know you can do that um other than that really it the world's at your at your hand you know you, you just take whatever you want man you know so if you want to do uh you know well obviously when you tune and delete it you're going to delete the exhaust and whatnot so if you want to do a five inch exhaust you can do a five inch exhaust uh you know you can do an intercooler head studs such and such okay now you know i get a lot of people asking me about the head studs situation these trucks will blow head gaskets okay high mileage trucks that have seen a lot of abuse and a lot of neglect they will blow head gaskets but it's not something that is super prone on these trucks to happen or occur uh, you can run stock head studs safely i would highly say 500 horsepower max 550 at the most you can but you can run this truck stock on stock head bolts reliably safely and it'll hold that head down keep the gasket sealed up and all that good stuff now if the truck got 275,000 miles and you just bought it you might want to put some head studs you really you, you need to take the head off get it resurfaced put a new head gasket in stud it and you're done you won't have to worry about that sucker for a long time okay 
So that's just some things you guys don't want to talk about. Uh, I get a lot of people ask me what should I do to my truck when I just get it. She's freaking filthy, man. Look how dirty she is. Look at this. Look at this. I haven't polished these wheels in about a month. It's super dirty because I, you know, obviously you go hunting and stuff and like that or drive a lot of driving. But uh, she gets dirty. I work her. And that's what I love about this truck, man. It, it's functional, but yet form. So I, if I want to wash this truck, detail it, pull up to a truck show, I can do it. If I want to hook up my John boat, or if I if I need to hook up a gooseneck, which I probably wouldn't, <laughs> but if I need to, I can do it. It's functional. It's a, it, it can work. If I need to take this truck off the road, I'm not gonna be worried about curbing my wheels and stuff. I mean, look how much damn meat I got on this thing. You know what I'm saying? So it's like one of those things. But uh, back to what I was saying. Yeah, you guys. So again, fluids, tune, delete, and whatever you want. Okay. So if you want to put a radio in the truck, do it. After you do the first two things I said. Okay. Now, if you got a 5.9 and you're like, oh, well, I got a 5.9, I don't need to delete it. No, you don't. So tune it. Go get you a good tuning. Okay. Good tuning companies. Research. research. It's out there. Yeah, it, 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 trust me. It is not hard to find. You just got to be willing to use Google and the internet. Okay. Do that. Uh, if you want to slap some tin on your truck, upgrade the headlights, LEDs, you know, make, just make it look like your own truck the way you want it to look like and not the way people want you to make it look like. Okay. So. Also, embarrassing plug, make sure you're following everything underscore diesel, okay? But yeah, so that's what I wanted to talk about, you guys. Um, now, switching over topics to the truck show, I will be doing videos and we're gonna be doing a little small and cleanups, okay? So for example, I'm not pulling up to the truck show with a cracked busted tail light, okay? You guys who've been watching the videos way back in the spring, you guys know I dropped this tail light on the floor and cracked it. I still have not changed it. I have the brand new one in the garage, sitting on the bench, ready to get cut open and painted and all that stuff. I haven't done it yet, but I will have it done before the show. Uh, you know, just some small touching up, touching up these bare spots where my bed liner and stuff's at. Get all this sucker cleaned up. That can't, that happened when I used to have the camper shell on here. Doing that, you know, get a touch up pen. I'm gonna touch up that little bare spot of metal. Uh, clean the whole suspension. It's gonna look phenomenal when I'm done with it. You guys know how I am when it comes to detailing. I don't mess around. Uh, small things, small things like that. Uh, we will be taking the bumper off because I want to get an off-road bumper, but not just yet. Gonna be taking the bumper off so we can repaint it, get all these chips and stuff off. Tons of chips and whatnot. Gonna be peeling off this black. And if you get, if you didn't know, this is just Plasti Dip. So you see there, I just peeled it off. That's Plasti Dip, so I'm gonna peel all this off. I'm gonna leave this chrome, because I like the chrome there. I was debating between painting it white, but I like the chrome there. So I'm gonna leave the chrome there, take the bumper off, paint the bumper white again. I'm also gonna be taking off this uh, grill, just the center insert, taking this off, gonna be getting this powder coated because I painted it myself, and I don't know how, but somehow I messed up the paint, even though I'm really good at painting, and every time I paint it in the past, I've never had an issue. But I'm going to be getting this taken off. I'm going to strip all the paint off of this grill. And I'm going to be uh, taking it to my boy Kevin so he can powder coat it white. Because powder coat is way more durable than the paint. So we're going to be cleaning that up. Uh, headlights. I mean, the headlights look good. There ain't nothing wrong with the headlights. Although we do have something in place for some new headlights to be coming soon. Other than that, really, it's just, you know, washing, cleaning up the basics, man. Nothing crazy. So... We're gonna be doing all, all that stuff. I was doing some detailing jobs uh, earlier this week. So I still got all my stuff in here. Gotta clean out the interior. Uh, also got a quote for a sound system. So looking at looking at upgrading the sound system because those JBLs I have, they're good, but I need, I need better, I need better. So I'm gonna be doing some components, uh, most likely Memphis. Gonna be doing some component speakers with uh, a single 12 inch sub in the back behind the mega cab seat. So we got some stuff planned, you guys. So hopefully this answer questions you guys had. Um, I know it's been a little bit, a couple days or almost a week since I made my last video. I apologize for that, but you know, life, you guys know me, I don't do this 100% professionally for a living. I do this as a side hobby project type deal. So there will be times when I just can't make a video, you know? 
either that or I just don't have the time to make a video, you know. So uh, I do apologize for that. But hopefully this video answered a lot of questions you guys have. If you have a question I did not answer in the video, by all means, drop it in the comment down below or hit me up on Instagram, everything underscore diesel, and message me directly. I'll be more than happy and more than willing to answer your question, okay? I get tons of messages on Instagram all day, every day. So you can just join that family. Um, reasonably good at responding back at a in a reasonable time so again thank you guys so much if you enjoyed this video smash the thumbs up make sure you subscribe hit the subscribe button subscribe to the channel and i will see you guys soon hopefully i'll see you guys at beans diesel blackout in the country because y'all don't understand how excited i am for that so once again thank you guys so much and until next time y'all take it easy be safe and peace out